Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Holly and this is my Spring and Easter Decorate With Me of 2024. This is everything that I am going to be working with. There's already some things that I know uh, that I'm going to be using for the kitchen, but I have it in the living room for right now until I start decorating just so that way I can start with a clean slate. So some things are new from this year and some from last year. And then these are my shelves, my entertainment area that I'm going to be decorating. I'm going to start off by putting my floral garland on my mantle. I was going to do like maybe a bunny garland like I did last year or maybe something like that I did buy a carrot garland and I was going to do that as well but I really wanted like a floral garland for spring so I got this one from Walmart this year and at first I was wasn't loving the purple and the yellow and I was just going to take them off and maybe replace them with other florals and then putting some eggs about or something like that but i decided to just go with this because i really ended up loving it and it looks really really nice so i decided to just stick with uh this garland and i was also going to put the carrot garland kind of layer it a bit but i really like the simplicity of just having this floral garland here now i am decorating the shelves and I start off with this art that I got from Timo this year. I love their art. I do wish they came with frames though. So I had to go and buy the uh, frames. And those frames are from Walmart. And then this bunny. I got that bunny from TJ Maxx of last year. I love that little bunny. And then the second shelf, I was going to use this this egg and bunny the egg was from family dollar dollar tree last year and the bunny is from dollar journal last year and i was just not loving it so i switched it out i tried the happy easter sign that i got from tj maxx last year and i was also not loving it as well so i ended up kind of switching things around a bit i decided to move the art the picture on the second shelf which I thought looked so much better and then I decided to add this little light up bunny that I got from Walmart this year that little bunny is too cute and then on the top shelf I put the bunny that I got from TJ Maxx and put up top and then that plant that faux plant I got from Dollar Journal last year and then I moved on to the bottom added this new bowl that I got from Walmart this year and these florals were from Dollar Tree this year I love them they're like the hanging florals and I put them in this bowl here I added these eggs and this little bunny I thought the eggs and the bunny in the middle were, was really cute but I was not loving it that much so I decided to go with the eggs with the three eggs and I just took the florals that were in there I decided to take them apart take them off of the stem and kind of just place them about to kind of have them sticking out and I think that turned out really really cute and it looks a lot better because when the florals were in the bowl it, the eggs were was not sitting right On this side, I added another picture, and I also added another one of those little bunnies that I got from Walmart. On the second shelf, I put my He is Risen sign, and then I added, I tried a couple of things out. I tried the Leaping Bunny, also tried the, I think it was the Pink Bunny. And then the egg. I come back to that later on. And the bottom shelf, I had a problem with the shelf here. 
I have this like vase and I tried putting florals in there. Wasn't liking it. I tried to put like eggs in there with the florals in there. But I ended up coming back to this. I was going to get another one of those bowls on the other side to kind of mirror it. But then I'm like, well, if I switch things out, what am I going to do with the other bowl? <laughs> And this is how it was looking. So I decided to go back to the second shelf and I used this floral that I got from, well, greenery, the little faux plant is from Dollar Journal this year. I love it. And the little pigs, I just cut the little pigs that I got from Dollar Journal last year. That way they would fit into this little uh, plant and I think it turned out so cute. And I just took the egg away. I thought it was a little too much. So Then on my mantle, I added the happy Easter sign there. I thought that looked a lot better. I didn't like it anywhere else. So I thought that it looked better here. I did that last year as well. So it will pretty much probably end up there next year as well. <laughs> Moving on to my dining room, I am adding my new runner that I got from Walmart. There was a runner that I thought I was going to get. It was like a gingham. It had all the pastel colors for Easter. I just thought it was a little too much. So, I seen this runner here and went with it. Then, I'm adding this basket tray this little woven tray that i got from walmart and then these florals i just placed them in there and then i'm going to take my clothes that i got for my birthday and i'm going to put it in the center i added this cute little bunny that i got from walmart last year I really want it to go very, very simple in here because my daughter's birthday is coming up. Well, her birthday party is coming up. It's going to be the week before Easter. So, I really want it to be very, very simple. And that way, everything can be easily moved whenever I get ready to decorate for her birthday party. So... I went very, very simple, and then I decided to add these little eggs. I thought adding the little eggs added a little bit more color, and it kind of came together with the centerpiece, so I love it. And then my dining room window, I just added the carrot garland that I got from Walmart. Now we are in my kitchen and I don't go all out in my kitchen. I like to keep it very, very simple in here as well. So over here in this little area, I added my little Easter bunny tray and then I added the, that I got from Walmart and then that little egg holder and the sleeping bunny. Over here, I put my bunny painting that I got from Walmart. I did try and put that somewhere else in the house, but I just pretty much kept it there. It looked better there, so I kept it there. Over here in my little tray, I added my uh, cottontail bunny soap from TJ Maxx. I did try a few other pieces here, but none of them worked out. And then I have this little bird, which is really, really cute. And I just put some little florals in there. And I tried to place an egg in there, but the egg just wasn't sitting right. So, but I do keep the egg in there anyway. And I just place it here in this tray. Over here in this corner, I always have a hard time. I thought maybe putting a lamp and a tray with some cute things in here would be really, really cute. But it took me a while. I played around a lot with this tray. So I edited out a lot. 
But I went with this Easter greetings cottontail sign. It came from Walmart a couple of years ago. And then I have my pink bunnies, my little cloches, and this garland. But then I thought it was too much. So I switched it out. And I really wanted to add the egg because I got it last year and it's super cute. But this is how it all turned out. I decided to move the egg over here by the bunny painting. And I think it looks so much cuter over here in this little area. And then on my stove, I did not buy any new Easter or spring towels. I just added this Pioneer Woman towel that was gifted to me. And I pretty much just used that for spring and summer. And this is how the kitchen turned out. I think it, I did not want to go overboard. But I do think everything turned out really, really cute. See, I changed that area up there. And this area, I really, really like how it turned out. Okay, y'all. So, I wanted to show y'all another idea I came up with. So, I thought green... Well, I actually wanted the green moss, but my husband picked up the wrong thing. And I put the green grass in there and put the eggs in there. And I thought that would look a lot better. But, again... I just ended up changing it entirely and you'll see here in a little bit now my welcome to our home sign I put this little I guess daisy floral on there with the eucalyptus with well, the leaves and then I added the my little Easter bunny with the egg for Easter I love the welcome to our home sign I was gonna buy one after the holidays and it ended up being a Christmas gift, so I did not have to go buy one. <laughs> okay, so over here on the coffee table, I added my lamp. And then I added this little tiptoe bunny and egg tiptoe game. I did have another bunny somewhere, but my daughter had gotten a hold of it. And it has been lost since she has played with it. So hopefully one day I'll find it. So... Oh, this is what I decided to do. I have this little basket that I stole from the bathroom. And I just put the florals in there. And I put some of the little greenery from the Dollar Tree floral and added it in there. And I, wanted, I thought the egg with the florals looked really, really cute. But the big egg to me was just not working out. So I took the big egg out and decided to just... Put all of the little colorful eggs in there, and I thought that turned out really, really cute. So I decided to leave it. Everything has stayed the same. And I just put it at the bottom of the shelf. And then the egg, since it's a hanging egg, I decided to put it on our doorknob. And y'all, this is how everything turned out. I love how everything turned out. It is really, really cute. I just love that bunny and egg art. The little ambiance from YouTube on there. Over here on this wall, I had nothing here for like the longest, and I those windows on the side on the each side of the sign, those were actually on each side of my window in my living room, and I just painted the inside of the frame white with white paint, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Well, y'all, that is going to be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.